Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to wish all of you guys a happy and safe holiday. I hope all you guys are enjoying your time off. Um, I'm definitely enjoying my time off on this end. Uh, I've got my Demolition Ranch ugly sweater on and I'm doing another pistol build, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, but before I start, I want to give a special thanks to J&K Associates Incorporated, located in Bel Air. Um, they've been phenomenal. I cannot express my gratitude towards them. I, I have purchased guns there, uh, used, uh, new, traded guns, you name it. So if you guys need new or used guns or want to trade in guns or what have you, uh, you just can't beat their customer service and their prices. So I'll put all their information on the bottom of the video. So this one's going to be the Knight's Armament 300 Blackout Pistol Build. Now, what's kind of odd about this is this is going to be a 16 inch barrel, but it's still considered a pistol build because the lower is registered as a pistol. Why am I doing that? I'm doing that for one particular reason is I don't want to do an SPR in the future. So if I decide to use this lower from um, Palmetto State uh, lower that I got uh, to do another build in the future and I want to go to a 10 and a half inch barrel such as uh, what we got here, the Mark 18, some people call it the MK18, day on offense. This is a Palmetto State lower. And uh, same exact lower I'm gonna use for the uh, build we're speaking of. And um, I'm pretty excited about it. So let's get to the details about it. This is gonna be with the model number uh, 101997. It's kind of an older model. And uh, the rail on the gun is, which I love, it's the uh, URX3 uh, rail which is kind of like the Mark 18 or MK18 from Day on Defense. They're pretty similar. Um, I love them. So without further ado, let's get right to it. I'm gonna show you the Palmetto State Armory lower. This is the box it comes in. And there's the lower right there. Go ahead and grab this lower. So as you look at this lower, uh, it's got a flare magwell, okay? This is a polished mil spec trigger and SB3 tactical brace. This is what it comes with, okay? You can get these very cheap. So I got this on sale for roughly $200. So they range between $200 and $220. Uh, you get this set to your FFL and uh, you're good to go. Here, This is the Knight's Armament Upper with that rail. Now this is gonna be an ACOG. I'm not gonna be using this for this particular build. Obviously this is for 223. I only put this on here just to see what it would look like on the gun because Trichcon does have an ACOG variant, I believe it's an LED, and it's for specifically 300 blackout. So I'm assuming it's going to be about the same size, so that's why I have it on here. Let's go ahead and put this on to the lower. And there you go. So it's on there pretty good. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that pretty good or not. But uh, let's go ahead and chamber this back. Make sure everything's clear. As you can see, everything's clear. And if you, it has a nice audible click if you can listen to this with a very crisp break. I don't know if you can hear that inside the camera or not. And the release on it's just phenomenal. Yeah, you can't go wrong with it. So, this is what it's going to be for right now. Um, again, this is a 16 inch barrel. And what's pretty cool about these older models is if you go ahead and just press the button here and push up, it's actually got a built in front sight. Which I think is pretty neat. The older ones for this. Uh, the Knight's Armament sights, the iron sights are not cheap whatsoever. So, moving forward, what would I do with this build? This particular build, for me, is going to be for hunting in the future. Right, so depending on what state you live in and what county you live in, 300 blackout might be something you want to use for hunting. Why would you want to do that? Well, as we go forward in the video, you're going to see the weight difference on this gun. It's pretty light. It makes it a lot easier when you're uh, when you're out traveling, you're hunting, and you're out there for a long period of time, and you're humping the gun around for a mile or whatever it may be. All right, scale set at zero. We're going to put the 300 block out with the optic on the scale and see what it weighs. This is a 16 inch barrel, 7 pounds even, and as you can see, it's freestanding on the scale. That is pretty light with the optic. Now we're going to weigh it without the optic. Alright, the scale is reset to zero. Now we're going to weigh the 300 block out without the optic. And 
and it's right below six pounds and three ounces. For a 16 inch 300 block out, that is extremely light. So the second reason why I would use this caliber would be for home defense, but not this particular gun. So the gun I would choose for home defense for me, if uh, again, I only speak from my point of view, if I have a suppressor, okay, the suppressor is key. So if, um, if I have a good suppressor and I've ordered it and did my paperwork and so on and so on, I would choose the Sig Virtus, which is a nine and a half inch barrel, 300 blackout, Decibels, I believe, are right around 119 and 120 from what I've seen, uh, which is perfect for me indoor. So this is going to be the Sig Virtus. Again, this is in a pistol variant. As you can see, got my light, my Trichicon, Trichicon MRO, red dot. I have this right now actually um, sighted in for roughly 25 yards. Uh, nothing, nothing more than that. Nothing in my house as far as distance for me from my home defense is going to be anything more than roughly 14 15 yards so i just want to show you guys this quick build um if you guys got any opinions or any thoughts whatsoever feel free to leave a comment and if you do like this video and you want to see more feel free to like and subscribe In the meantime you guys have a great holiday enjoy be safe and i will talk to you guys again soon all right see you